Welcome back to our four part series. Today, we're gonna to be going over screen number two. So here we are on screen number two. The main purpose of this screen is to uh, adjust the direction, the scaling, and also uh, if you're wanting to do multiple of the same design and put it in a grid, uh, this, that's uh, what this side here is for. Uh, so we're, what we're gonna start with is uh, the direction of your design. So uh, if we hit this button here, uh, the little magnifying glass next to the flower, uh, it's going to give a preview of our design. So we have the design and all the colors set up, uh, but if we were to uh, change the direction here, hit this P button, and you notice the P changed uh, direction there where the top is pointed this way. Um, if we hit this uh, magnifying glass again, it has the design tilted. Um, reason for this is uh, if we're wanting to do a design on a piece of fabric or uh, if we're wanting to do it on a hat, we can change the uh, direction of it. So if we wanted to put this on a hat, for instance, we'd have it upside down uh, because of the way we load the hats, because we load them this way, where the top of the hat is here and the bill's here. Uh, if we hit this one more time, it shows us what the design's gonna look like. So uh, we can also change the uh, direction of the design to where uh, the piece pointed this way, or if we want to uh, mirror the design as well. So if we hit that, will have the same design, but it's uh, backwards. Uh, depending on which design you use, uh, like say if you're wanting to put uh, one design on one pocket, another design on the other, and you want them to be mirrored, uh, that would be an application you'd use that for. Uh, where we go from here, go ahead and uh, put this back to normal orientation here. Hit that button there. Um, so next up would be the angle. So say we can adjust this angle here from uh, anywhere from zero to 360 degrees, uh, everywhere in between. Uh, that would be if you put a fabric on there and you, it's at a slight angle and you wanna just compensate for it. Uh, under normal circumstances, you really wouldn't use that too much. Uh, but underneath that, we have the scale for X and Y. Uh, what that is, is uh, it can grow or shrink your design depending on uh, how you need it. So say if you need it above a shirt pocket, and you see it's a little bit too big, uh, we could scale it down just a little bit and uh, make it fit. Uh, you really don't wanna go above or below 15% uh, above 100. Uh, main reason being is whenever it scales it, it keeps the same amount of stitches. So if you shrink it, uh, it's gonna build up a lot of stitches in the same area. Whereas if you were to grow it, it's gonna stretch those stitches out. So it's gonna not look as good. So uh, really you don't wanna go above or below uh, either 85 or 115 uh, percent. Going from there, we have our repetition mode. So this is where, uh, so say if you're wanting to do uh, multiple patches or multiple designs on the same fabric, uh, we can set it up here. So uh, you know, just using using you know multiplication. Say we wanted to have six of these. Uh, so six on the x-axis. Uh, we'll go ahead and set up uh, three. And then on the y-axis, we'll set up two, because three times two equals uh, six. And uh, if we hit this, we notice, let it load for a second, it's gotta load up all those stitches. Uh, if we notice, it looks the same. Uh, our preview looks the same. That's because uh, the repetition interval uh, has stayed the same. So it's gonna layer all those designs on top of each other. So how we fix that uh, is we'll hit here, and we'll put in a number like 50. Let's see what 50 looks like. Put it on both sides. So we have repetition interval at 50. If we hit that, let it load again, it takes a second. We'll notice that the design is also, has been uh, split up a few times. Uh, now what we wanna do is we wanna spread them apart because we want enough space because right now they're overlapping. So uh, we'll bump that up to say 75. Hit that preview one more time. Okay, still need a little bit more room, so we can bump that up to maybe, uh, let's bump that up to 90, how about that? Preview one more time. So there we go, they're all separated. So if you're doing multiple patches or multiple designs on the same fabric, that's how you go about doing it. But uh, in our case, we're gonna go ahead and just set that, uh, set these guys to, uh, let's do one, one. that to zero. And uh, when I hit the preview button again, 
it's just going to have our one line design. 